Hello and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. As you all know, we have been finishing up a lot of projects around here and the last space the painters needed to finish was our master bedroom and bathroom. We had been in the midst of finishing off these renos when this pandemic madness started. We had the painters lined up to get it completed, so they ended up finishing it the day before the stay home order went into effect here in Phoenix. With all the social distancing, it's been frustrating having anyone in our house at all, so we've been taking measures to uphold the safety while they finish this up. It has taken me quite a while to finally get this video edited, and a lot has changed in the world since then. But on this day, I was getting the room cleared and prepped for our painters, which just so happened to be our neighbors. After months of our closet and bathroom being torn apart, it all is finally coming back together, but first I needed to get all of our stuff out of this area. Other than a weekly run to the store, we have all been home for about three or four weeks now. My husband's work is considered essential business, so he is able to keep working, but since he runs his own company, he has elected to take some time off, and it's been really nice actually having him around, and we've been spending so much time together. That's partly why it is taking me so long to get this video edited and posted, but soon I will have the reveal ready to share with you all. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. And also go follow me over on Instagram at Intentful Spaces. I'm over there every single day and I share a lot of what happens in between the videos and behind the scenes. And I've been giving progress updates and sneak peeks of the bathroom in my feed and in my stories over there. And it's just a really fun way to connect with you ladies. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pull the rest of the stuff off of the top of this dresser. And I have not dusted it since this construction has been going on. So it is very, very dirty up there. And I wish I would have got a better angle. And I'm just showing you what I keep under my house plants, these little cork boards. They are kind of like large coasters that you put under the pot so the moisture that builds up in the bottom there does not damage the surfaces. And I just got these from Home Depot. They're just a couple of dollars and I keep them under all of the house plants. And now I'm just gonna come over here and get the nightstand all kind of cleared away so that that can be slid out for the painting.
here I am just snapping a quick picture to share over on Instagram of this little piece of the wall that shows the original paint color from when we moved into this house five years ago. It was dark orange. This room was so dark orange and when I was pregnant with Jillian I couldn't take it anymore and I put this tan color up here on the wall but now we are going to be giving it a fresh coat. It's not a huge change. It's just a light cream color that's going to be matching the new paint going in the bathroom. giving the floor a quick vacuum and then the next day once all the furniture was moved my husband went ahead and vacuumed under and behind where all of that was. Got the room cleared out of all the stuff that we had relocated out of our closet and bathroom and relocated it to the kids' bedrooms. So all the stuff I needed the littles to not get into, I put in Jameson's room. And then this is all of our clothes that we've been keeping in Jillian's room while all of the construction's been going on. And it's spilling out over here into the hallway and it's just been such a mess up there. I'm just really looking forward to it all being pulled back together. And headed downstairs, it's much later now and my husband is already started on the kitchen and then I'm just gonna get it finished off and call it a night.
So now that all the food is put away and the dishes are done and the counters are wiped off, just gonna do a quick once over of the floors. Every night I would typically sweep the floors to end the day, but we now have this cordless Bissell vacuum that makes it so quick and easy. Absolutely enjoying this part of the evening. And now that my husband has been home so much, he has actually been doing it most nights, but I will keep this linked in the description box below and I keep these sorts of things at my Amazon shop. And that link is always below as well. So if you're ever interested in anything that I am showing to you here in the videos, then you can go ahead and check out my Amazon shop for links to that. And if it's not there, just let me know and I will do my best to find it and put it there. Gonna just tidy up the living room real quick now and just start winding it down. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and enjoy cleaning motivation, I invite you to subscribe and also go follow me over on Instagram at Intentful Spaces. I'm over there every day and would love to have you join me there as well. So just going to leave these dishes here to dry overnight and put them away in the morning. And that is it for this video. So as always, thank you all so much for being here.